where do you see us in another 70 plus years regarding space travel? I think it's very exciting at the moment in the space flight world. Um, as you rightly said, it was the, there was remarkably fast development. From I remember speaking to uh, Charlie Duke once, who was the the youngest person ever to walk on the moon, Apollo sixteen, and uh, his dad remembered the Wright brothers and saw his son walk on the moon. So it's just you know that that one one lifetime, absolutely astonishing progress, um, and. Then you're right that we slowed down to some extent in terms of going far out into space, although we did interesting things like the space shuttle and building the International Space Station, which is a tremendous achievement. But now I think because we have reusable rockets for the first time, then access to space is much cheaper and much more reliable than it ever was and than it was 10 years ago. And that's been driven by SpaceX and Blue Origin following behind. Um, and so those technologies are the technologies that are going to make, first of all, Earth orbit very easily accessible. They already have. Uh, you know, we've seen, you know, commercial crewed flights, right? SpaceX are flying tourists already around the Earth. Um, and uh, that technology is what we need to go further afield to the moon and then onto Mars. So I think we're going to see an acceleration in our capability in space. Mars is really difficult. Um, it's a long way. It takes a long time to get there. It's it's years there and back. Um, there's nothing you can do about that with current technology. So the, the idea that you will send astronauts off for one and a half, two years is something we've never done before. Um, we, we've had long duration space flight, but it's on the space station. Um, or, or space stations, which are, you know, you can come back. It's not far. You, you're a couple of, you know, 100 miles, a couple of hundred miles up there. It, it's fine, right? You can come back in a few minutes if there's a problem. Whereas if you're on, Mar on Mars or on your way to Mars, you're not coming back for years if there's a problem. So it's a very different challenge. So I don't know when we're going to get to Mars with humans. Um, I think we'll be at the moon soon. And we'll be back on the moon soon and we'll be on mars in my lifetime but i don't think it's going to be within a decade i think it's going to be longer than that it's my guess but it's got to be said uh you asked you asked anyone 10 or 15 years ago can you launch reusable rockets and make them land on a drone ship you know in the in the ocean reliably then most people would have said no What's your second favorite jam? Uh, my second favorite, my second favorite jam. Uh, uh, again, the answer is that there may have been jam. There may not have been jam, but no regulations were broken in the eating or otherwise of that jam. Professor Brian Cox, Horizons, a 21st century space odyssey, live on stage using state-of-the-art LED screen technology. Theatres and arenas will be filled with images of faraway galaxies, alien worlds, supermassive black holes, and a time before the Big Bang.